quick start to the vlog today from me and Isabel we've just pulled up at my Nana's it's about 11 yeah it's about, it's about 11, 11. Oh, she's coming out, she's coming out. <laughs> so we've drove up to my Nana's I spoke to last night and said I was going to come up and see her today and she said can you bring Isabel and I'm like of course we can <laughs> oh look at her face <laughs> <laughs> she always looks so suspicious what <laughs> what's going on um uh, I don't think we're going to go to the White Rose today. I hope she doesn't want to go to the White Rose today. I don't fancy being in, indoors in a shopping centre and feeling bad like <laughs> I did the other day. But we'll see what she wants to do and where she wants to go. Yeah. And we'll see you guys when we get there. What's up, guys? So I think that I might have just made the biggest mistake I've made yet with my hair. Just going to pretend that that sink is not full of my hair right now. Like, when I say full, I mean it's full. I mean, I'm never taking this beanie off until I get a proper haircut. By the way, which I have been on with all morning it's always on the bottom of my list because i can just hide my hair under a beanie so who cares but i care because it's literally growing out the back it's growing out the sides and i can't stand it no more so i was just there getting ready and i'm just like you know what give me them scissors man i just literally lopped the whole thing off i look like i've had a ball back and sides all the way around apart from my fringe so i'm never showing you under my hat again ever not that i have done ever in the last year or so or more but i'm definitely not now there's a lot of hair in that sink Okay, so back to the day. Basically today is one of them days that I hoped it wasn't gonna be like this, but it is like this. Today was meant to be the day that I got the caravan all in put on because my glue's arrived, I've got all the bits I need to do it. We're going away very soon and I've got a limited days left to get this done. But the weatherman said no. The weather's like, uh-uh, mate, you are not getting that done today. It's raining and pouring outside and I need it to be totally dry to be able to do this for at least a few hours so that I can get it done. And it ain't gonna be that today. So we'll just forget that plan today that's not gonna happen today. I have to just accept it and move on. We're also going away this weekend. In fact, tomorrow, by the time you're watching this video on Friday night, we'll already be away. So we've got a lot of things to get done today before we go away. Namely, a very, very lot of baby me orders need shipping ready today to go first thing in the morning before we leave. So most of my morning right now, obviously, pre haircut was spent in our new office here. I'm not showing you guys that yet because it's not done. When it's finished, being finished, then y'all can see it. But I've been up there making sure that all the baby stuff is done and ready. And it ain't done just yet. I'm gonna be up for a long time tonight. I may not even get to bed tonight, but it's okay. So coming down the stairs on the right hand side of the house right now, we've got my little man and is maybe being very good in here. You being a good boy. Yeah. I've just sat down Jace with a little snack of raisins, which he's having right now. It's been such a good boy today. Three things. Right. Come here, Jace. Come here, come and see me. I love this t-shirt though, he's got little pretty dogs in his t-shirt today. Oh, thank you. The t-shirt is mm. a bit mine. Mm. I'll have one of yours. You're very kind. Thank you very much, my boy. Oh, I dropped one on Prinny's back. Oh no, Prin has got one on her back. <laughs> Get it off her. And then on the opposite side of the house, we've got fidget, fidget heaven right now, actually. I mean, it looks like a mess, but this is organized chaos. This is like lots and lots of 15 pound mystery boxes made up. Ready to be sealed, shipping labels on, and taken to the post office. This is my this is my method of my madness, you know, one of them things. This is my little organization station I've got going on right now with this. And it's all good, this is nearly done, man. So I'm very happy with this. We're on track for this part of the day at the minute. But me being me, I can't sit still and just chill or just do something like that. I have to be always doing something. And I really wish that wasn't me today because I'm like, okay, what DIY jobs can I do around the house whilst it's raining outside hardcore, which it is. What have I got to do because I need to further us in some way every day. I need to further us a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And I know that building a house and building a home and making it yours and all the rest of it is a thing you do long over time. But I'm too impatient for that. So I always need to be doing something. And today I was like, hey, what can I do today? Oh yeah, there's that one thing that Sarah bugs me about every single day that I'm like, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, I'll promise I'll get it out tomorrow. And then it gets to the end of the day, I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't get that done again. Sorry, babe. So long story short, since we moved in here three weeks ago, we've been living out of like two boxes of clothes each because our wardrobes are not here yet. They're due to be delivered any day now. So they are on the way here. Half of them have been delivered, but it's like a big flat pack thing that we had designed by Ikea to fit in the wardrobe room that we've got here and they're not here yet. So they're gonna be here in a few days. When they're here, we're gonna set them all up and we're gonna have functioning wardrobes and all our clothes will come out and go in them and we'll be all good. But since we moved in here with me and Sarah have been living out of a couple of boxes of our clothes, basically that we've been 
rotating and washing and whatnot. And every day Sarah's like, babe, I don't wanna wear this anymore. Please, we get my clothes out. We get my rest of my boxes out. Like a lot of boxes out of the garage, but it's gonna go straight into the wardrobe, but she wants me to get them out so she can wear them, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna surprise Sarah when she comes home. I'm gonna get all the clothes out. I'm gonna organize them into nice piles in the wardrobe room. So she can access them before the wardrobes get here. You know them jobs that you start doing and you really, really wish you'd never, ever started them? That's me right now. And you're all gonna understand why. In about two seconds flat when I turn around this camera and show you the embarrassment that is this room right now. I don't know how I'm gonna get this done today. Mm -hmm. That's all the series boxes that I thought would be a good idea to tip out and organize for her. It may look nice, and my boxes too. And I'm like, <laughs> cry I need help really bad so we're just at crown pot I've just eaten an oat bar and I feel oh. like it's all on my tongue <laughs> so we're just at crown point which is a shopping retail park in Leeds and we I are in <laughs> I know but uh, yeah it does and we're in I was about to say we're in next we're not we're in Asda and they've got a sale on maternity I was just looking at clothes I was like oh these are all in the sale and then I realized on the tag it said maternity so I was like Boom! Because some of the stuff's reduced from like fifteen pounds to a yeah. fiver, and we're making the most of that, aren't we, Isabel? Yeah. Oh, so guys, how small this trolley is! Like, it's already full. We put like two tops in there. It's got like skinny yeah. is. We've, got, we've actually got four, but it's a teeny, teeny, teeny trolley. It's a teeny trolley. Also, I didn't even know that as they did a massive maternity range. I don't think my nana realizes that she's looking in the maternity range right now. But I'll go tell her in a second. But yeah, I didn't know as they did a maternity range. It's quite good as well. It's quite a lot of stuff. Leggings, dungarees, dresses, tops, all sorts. Okay, really quick run through this room. On this wall, as you walk in the door, is gonna be a big fitted wardrobe unit all the way around to the window, bam, bam, there. On this side of the wall, there's gonna be set a huge, this huge mirror that we've got, really gorgeous, fancy mirror they've got, and Sarah's dressing table, bam, bam, there, with a couple of shelves either side, looking really nice. Another unit here for like shoes and things, and then we've got an island unit in the middle coming, which is gonna be f like, you know, whatever, so one upon them basically. Another unit of storage in the middle here. So basically this room will be, what oh yeah, and a, a sofa thing at the back. So basically this room will be one big wardrobe space to get ready in, so we're gonna have mirrors, dressing tables, sofas to sit on. It's gonna be really nice getting ready space, but right now it's just full of bits of the furniture that are gonna be used, and clothes, and my tools. And I need to turn it into a functioning space today, and I don't have much left of the day to do that in. And I really just wanna cry right now. Really bad, actually. So um, you might see it in this video, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't, I don't know. But I don't know why I thought this was a good idea, but I did, and now I've gotta live with the consequences, because I can't just shut the door and leave it, because I'll be, Big trouble when Sarah comes home tonight. And uh, also I need some of these clothes to go away with, so I need to sort through them and get it done. Usually I'm really good at compartmentalizing, so I've just got to do that. I've got to compartmentalize. I'll take one corner, but I know I'll look, and there'll only be one meter left, and then I'll be done. So we're now back in the car. We've just dropped Nana off. We didn't actually go to many shops today. We went to TK Maxx, because Nana wanted a little look around. We went to Asda, I filmed a little bit in there. And then, what was the other one we went to? Oh, Smith's Toys. Oh, Smith's. Oh, Smith. But Smith's Toys, because it's Esme's birthday coming up, so we wanted to have a little look around to get some inspiration. She's quite a difficult age this year, is Esme. Um, anyway, we just nipped up to our PO box to pick up, I think, some fidgets have arrived. Oh, that's what you get for being greedy pig! <laughs> oh my gosh! That's like a what? <gasps> Turn it off. We, we're literally drowning in packages. So, basically... No! <laughs> I had to rock, Mum. It's broke. What did it turn off? <laughs> So we just opened some packages now because we always get too excited and we can't wait till we get home. I've just <laughs> opened one for baby girl. Oh my gosh, I can't even cope with the skirt that was included. I only took out the skirt. I'll show you guys it when we get home. But it's so cute. Isabel's opened, is it the sweet shack? The sugar shack. Sugar shack. I apologise, it's the sugar shack. Look how big this box is. This is a massive box of sweets. Which Look we're gonna sweet. Vegetarian and vegan sweets as well. Yeah, so really we're going to open those and eat them yeah. on the way home. It also says on the letter, it says that you can get a discount, one minute, 10% <clears throat> discount to their iFam using iFam 10 at the checkout. iFam 10 at the checkout and it's the sweet shack, right? Sugar shack, Oh mama. my gosh, why can't I get that right? Sugar gosh, shack. Let me show you guys the logo. Look how good they are. Like, the oh yes, yeah, so cute. That's the logo. So you'll be able to find them on Instagram. They look blooming delicious. Like, look at all these sweets. 
We've got some lollies and things. These are going to be great. We've got a long trip and tomorrow morning. Heads, like, look at the unicorn ones. You unicorn ones. These <gasps> are the girls and when we get back mm -hmm. home. So don't forget to use your discount if you're going there. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to open, see if the girls' fidgets have arrived because I've got Esme on the phone literally every two seconds going, are they there, mommy? Are they there? Are they there? So I'm going to open this box here so I can let her know. And then we're going to get, oh, look at my hair. And then we're going to get back home. The weather's so dull today so so dull pouring down Sad. the brain so these sweets will definitely help on the journey home hi guys so we are very excited as you can tell we are very hyper right now because we just got told that we I need to pack here. some clothes for tomorrow because we are going on a very excited adventure <laughs> and we have just packed, got some clothes ready i am bringing this <laughs> angel tracksuit it's like bottoms and a top i am bringing this very nice jumper i am obsessed and if you didn't watch the vlog from the few days ago well it's like a week ago um it's from madeline two pairs of black leggings right i've got two pairs of black leggings as well i'm a terrible folder yes yeah, that's same. why these all are messy um california mm. top california girls are unforgettable <laughs> and then we have this what does this say it says pineapple top which i love mom bought me this the other day Yes, love. This long sleeve t-shirt, so let me just, to match with the checkered leggings. Two oh, leggings. Very cute. We've got a few pairs of socks and things like that. I got and then I have, did I see a flamingo in the corner of my eye? <laughs> and then this grey tracksuit, which is an all-in-one tracksuit that I love. Sister. I am very, very excited because my sofa, I've seen, I've said this in a few vlogs, it's very plain when it doesn't have everything on it. And mum went on to Sheen without me knowing, so it was a surprise, so I'm very excited. And I was very excited. And I've got to say, I can't even remember if I filmed this or not. Yeah. Anyways, if I didn't, then buzz in, you get to see. If I did, then just scroll Bulls. past this part. I'm pretty sure I didn't, though. But I got these cushion cases, not for the ones that are at the back, because the, the actual cushions haven't arrived. They're not, like, big That's ones, they're just, like, quite small. And we have this pattern. If you haven't already, already known from yesterday's vlog, I am obsessed. I have a pencil pot this pattern. I have a pencil case this pattern. Um, I have my bed and my cushions, wow. sheets, this patter pattern. That's I fun. have um, a pencil that's actually oh. this pattern. I have all sorts that are this pattern. And I am obsessed. So we got this colour. And they're actually not that big. And they're so soft, it's unreal. Um, it's just that size, and then I have a pink fluffy one, which is so good, <laughs> and I love them so much. I'm about to put this away. I'm gonna I pack up. We're gonna pack the clothes in the suitcase, <laughs> and then we are gonna pack our bags. And I'm gonna be bringing this bag because I love it. We're about to put all our clothes into the suitcase, and then we're gonna sleep, and we're gonna wake up in the morning, and then we're gonna go vroom vroom. On the road. So everyone, me and mum just got home and I literally just ran upstairs to try on all the things that I bought today. So um I got this really oh I got this really just casual kind of cozy beige jumper. It's got this cool like I don't really know what that is, but it's really cute. And I also got I can't get the camera to face down, it's actually it's really annoying me, it just keeps falling. Um but I also got these jeans which are um like they're like Thingied, what's the word? Cuffed. Um, <laughs> trying to send my tiptoes. Um, but they're yeah, they're really really cute and just comfortable and they're just nice. So I got some of those. I also got this really nice um, like baggy kind of top, which has got butterflies on it. And then which arm is it? This side. It's got like a little pattern thing on this on the arm as well. So I got that. And then I spent how much money i think i spent like 10 pounds on 10 pounds probably around 10 um on oh, also these were all on the sale this this jumper wasn't the jumper was eight pounds the trousers were like 19 reduced to nine and this top was it eight reduced to four i can't remember yeah this top was um eight pounds reduced to four it's really good and then there's also a deal we could buy two books for seven pounds i think so i got these two books this one and this is a book that i've seen on tiktok and everyone keeps going on about and i'm actually kind of scared to read it but it's called they both die at the end which kind of sounds really sad but um everyone's been going crazy about it and i'm like i really want to read it so i got those i feel this is going to really mess me up and it's going to make me cry a lot but i still want to read it and then this one which is a deadly education is about like 
people who go to a magic school, but like they can't leave unless like they graduate or they'll like die. I don't know, it sounds kind of cool. So I've got those two books and I'm really excited to start reading. So we're back home and of course the first thing I do is put on my PJs. Cause I just love being comfortable. <laughs> Orders? Huh? I know, that's why I'm coming down to help. What I really want to do is crawl up in bed, but we do have a lot oh, of orders. Chris is probably going to be doing an all-nighter. It, it probably should be me that's doing the all-nighter, seeing as though baby and me is mine, but I, I can't do an all-nighter. No, but I am going to be up to like gone midnight tonight you doing orders. To, you might have to drive tomorrow because I'm definitely going to be gone out for sure. <laughs> so basically, um, yeah, we've, we've got a lot of baby me orders to do and we need to get all of the orders up to date today because tomorrow we're going away for a, for a bit and By so the way guys, I'm not complaining. Thank you so so much to everyone that puts in the love with baby me We appreciate it more than we can ever ever tell you that is not me complaining I would stay up all night for a week in a row a year in a row you guys. Thank you so much. Get out the camera <laughs> But yeah, it definitely 100% agree with what Chris just said uh, we appreciate all of the support and amazing support that you guys give us so a massive massive thank you this week it's really weird because this week feels like it's gone like a bit crazy on the store don't you think yeah, it feels like it's gone a bit crazy sometimes it's like qu quieter than other times usually around when there's like a launch and things but even though there's been a launch of the fidgets which has obviously been amazing and just so cool um, everything else just seems to have flown out as well, <laughs> which has been really, really, really awesome. So we've got a load of those to do tonight. We've been packing and getting everything ready because we're leaving for a trip tomorrow. And I feel like the vlogs probably suffered today because we've spent a lot of, day, of the day driving, me and Isabel. Oh, do you girls want to show your new fidgets that just arrived? Yes, that's, that's a idea, good idea. Yeah, good idea. So, as you guys know, Fidgets and Me was a massive success, way beyond our imaginations. And so, we've in the process of restocking things, but also keeping it new and exciting and fresh. And Esme, Isla, and me did want to ask you your guys' opinion on something actually. Because, don't bring them yet, let's let Esme show too. Since it's Esme's as well. Um, do you want to go and grab her? So. Do you want to go and grab her? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> so we know that you guys love the blind bags and the girls really love the ideas of the blind bags as well. But we were just wondering if you guys want to stick with the blind bags, which we are going to because it's an original idea that the girls had. But do you also want the option of knowing what you're buying? choosing yeah so there'll still be the option of having like the mystery bags but there'll also be the option to purchase certain things by themselves as well I don't know if anybody would be interested in that like Esme was saying that she thinks that might be a good idea especially because some of the new stock we've got come in are super well the rares as Esme said very rare like, have you, big have you told them the really big rare that we're really excited about no I haven't told them anything can I, can I tell the best thing the one that you're most excited yes, about. Yes, the one that I'm most excited for is a jumbo. Wait a minute. Jumbo. Wait a jumbo minute. Jumbo will pop it. And you can make it into animals. <laughs> it's so cool. So they're like little, little random square. It's even like it's all different like shapes. Square. It can be like a little rectangly weird thing. Like alien shapes, basically. Alien shapes? Weird. Yeah, because they're not, they haven't got a name, have they? I don't know, I've not looked enough. You were but just yeah, like, I, these are amazing, these are rare, can I, we get these? And I was like, I yes, definitely. check out, bye. <laughs> but they are, they were quite, um, they were quite expensive, these ones. And we're still gonna keep the price as low as we possibly can for them. But I just feel like they might be a good thing to sell separately rather than in a mystery bag. Yeah. They're very big as well. And so. they're really big, like they're big, they're, they're like huge. Yeah. And a bit in a box as well, won't they? Yeah, they come like boxed and they're like a separate thing on their own. What do you guys prefer it anyway? What do you think? So, the girls do want to show you a new product that's is that arrived, that? which is pretty cool. I, I've never even these. seen these before. The girls love them. They've been trying them out today. And yeah, let us know down below what you guys think. Should we also offer options to buy things separately as well as the mystery bags? Because especially on the bigger things, 
not everybody wants a mystery bag. And also the people that have bought a mystery, mystery bag might not want to buy another one in case they get the same products, etc, etc. Anyway, you girls ready to share? Yeah. yeah. Okay guys, Esme just told me off. It doesn't matter if you've already bought a mystery bag because the new mystery bags that are coming will be different because there's different stock arriving. So yes. I apologize for that. <laughs> Even if you bought a mystery bag, the new mystery bags, some of them will hold different stock. So yeah. it'll still be different. But also, even so, you guys let me know what you think down below. Go on, Esme. We've also got squishies coming. Ah! Yeah, we do. So needles. So, what are they called? Ne needles. Needles, that's the one. Anyway, here's what's arrived today. So here are, is a selection of poppet bracelets. <laughs> There's also this one, but in a different like colour. Um, a different pattern. Yeah, different yeah. Pattern. yeah. I, I got this one, I choose this one. I I'll got this it. one too. There's also on the back, but it's just folded over as well. Yeah, so yeah. basically it's a, it's a poppet bracelet, right? Yeah, it goes around your wrist. Like yeah. a bracelet. <laughs> really cool. I think they're awesome. Okay, so what we did was we just pulled that door shut. Well, there's no point in it. <laughs> there's not really much point, to be fair, until we put the lights on. There's not really much point until we can actually put clothes away in, in exactly. the wardrobe. I was being ambitious today. I wanted to be surprised there when she got back. I was just a bit too ambitious, but it's okay. We're going to sort that out another day because today, we got way too much other going on and we're getting up early tomorrow and uh, we're doing something really cool. So make sure you come back tomorrow night at five o'clock to find out why. I am actually going to be staying up tonight and doing all the orders myself because I want to make sure they're all done right. <laughs> no, it's not that really. It's because you've got other stuff you need to be doing and it's my responsibility to do my orders on my store, so. We've decided we're gonna do a team I effort am. tonight. I'm gonna stay up and do them. It's not fair that you should do that all on your own. While well, I go to sleep, even though I'd really like to. Anyway guys, we've got a long night ahead, so we will catch you tomorrow night at five o'clock. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. And we'll see you tomorrow for some um, of the first adventures of 2021. Good night guys. Good night guys.